psychiatrists also treating patients noticed, because I saw that in my patients too, that if someone came in with a bipolar depression and they said, I'm depressed, I'm suicidal, I want to die. You say, okay, before we treat your depression, we first have to put you on a mood stabilizer to stabilize your mood. Because if we put you on an antidepressant with bipolar disorder, it could make everything worse. So we first stabilize your mood. So we give you lithium. So we give you lithium. We get the blood levels adjusted over the first few weeks. Now your blood level is perfect. And then after four weeks, we're having a discussion. How are you doing? And you say to me, terrible. Okay, which is what my patients would say, terrible. I'm no different. I don't know why you put me on this medicine. I feel just the same. I'm just as depressed as I was four weeks ago. So we go through everything. Yeah, they're just as depressed. Everything looks the same. And then we come to the discussion of suicide. And I say, so four weeks ago, you told me that you were going to kill yourself if this treatment didn't work. So how is the suicidality doing? And the patient says, that's funny. I'm not thinking about suicide anymore. And I say, are you surprised? Why do you think I put you on lithium? But isn't it surprising that your depression is the same, but your suicidality is better? So now we are having an effect which is the opposite of the antidepressants. We're treating the suicide, but not the depression. The antidepressants are treating the depression, but not the suicide. So that suggests that these are two separate probably, as I say, groups of disorders, and that they probably have a different genetic vulnerability and a different um, response to treatment and a different mechanism of meds. So then it became obvious to me what we now need to do is we need to find pharmacological treatments that will directly and specifically treat suicidality. And then a few years after that, uh, a study from Yale University, Dr. Robert Berman and his colleagues reported that ketamine has a very rapid onset of action for depression. All antidepressants take four to six weeks before you get good meaningful change. But ketamine can, just like that, within an hour, very fast. Yeah? And they reported, down in the paper, in the small print, and the patient's suicidality got better. And I thought, well, of course. <laughs> now we have a drug that's doing the two at the same time within an hour. This is different. So is ketamine working in a way different from other antidepressants? Absolutely. Now, we know where it's working. It's working at, the, at least at the NMDA receptor complex, which is not where antidepressants work. So it became obvious to me that what we needed to do now is we need to develop more drugs that would have the effect of ketamine with a fast onset of action against suicide. Forget the depression because, you know, it's not clear that ketamine is better than other antidepressants. It's just faster. But what's more important is that it has a specific and rapid anti-suicidal effect. No, no, no.